from the newsroom at news.com.au. This is the latest from the newsroom. It's Friday the 1st of July. We'll start in the US and Wall Street has suffered its worst half-day drop in 50 years, sending a grim sign to the global economy. The top 500 companies that make up the S&P 500 were down 0.9% for the day when it closed, marking a loss of more than 16% for the past six months. The Australian market also ended the last day of the financial year in the red yesterday, with the ASX 200 index falling by nearly 2%, posting its worst month since the pandemic began in March 2020. Two massive rain events are expected, with one potentially delivering a season's worth of rain in just five days. As Queensland braces for torrential rain, Sydney will be one of the worst affected areas, with the central coast and Illawarra regions forecast to be hit with between 200 and 300 mils of rain. Meanwhile, holiday makers are being warned to prepare for lengthy delays as airports around the country erupt into chaos. Understaffed airports and long queues await travellers hoping to escape during the school holidays, with Melbourne's Tullamarine Airport staff saying it's about to get worse. Around 2.1 million passengers are expected to pass through Sydney Airport from now until July 17, while Qantas and Jetstar are anticipating more than 350,000 customers this weekend alone. Over to sport and Nick Kyrgios has been fined $14,400 for spitting towards spectators in his first round win at Wimbledon. 14 players were included on the fines list released by Wimbledon today, but Kyrgios's punishment was by far the harshest. The Aussie tennis player has also withdrawn from the doubles draw where he was supposed to play with his good friend Tanasi Kokonakis. We'll take a break. To entertainment, Guy Sebastian has spoken out about his former manager, Titus Day, who was found guilty of embezzlement. Speaking with 2GB, Sebastian said he felt relieved the court case had been wrapped up, adding it had been four years of pain. I didn't know what to expect. It's been a pretty challenging time. You know, as a public person, I think it's been pretty difficult navigating the legal system and the uh, justice system it's been, but uh, I don't know I was just really relieved at the end because it's been you know, four and a half years of, of going through something very painful that I was I was pretty tight-lipped about it. Meantime, Sunrise showbiz reporter Nelson Aspen announced this morning that he's leaving the breakfast program. After almost 20 years with Sunrise, Aspen dropped the big revelation live on air, citing he wants to focus on other projects. That's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.